good afternoon everyone today i am going to discuss my e presentation of uh, uh, my published article in ijs so coming to the today's topic uh, surface runoff estimation using rs and gis which is a case study in connected on uh, swarnamukhi river india myself shanmukh simvas uh, i am specialized in hydraulics and water resources engineering and the department of civil engineering civil engineering university so coming to the present topic contents goes like this and uh, introductions present scope and materials and methods which i have used and the results from the methods uh, and finally conclusions so coming to the introduction uh, here surface runoff estimation is very important nowadays to uh, identify the augmenting precious structures uh, at uh, uh, micro level basins so here also it uh, it implicates uh, surface runoff estimation is not only used for uh, augmenting the uh, water resources but also it also enhances the ground water storage so here uh, remote sensing and gis technology is used uh, uh, comparing to conventional methods which is expensive and time consuming so here uh, a reliable prediction will be possible uh, for uh, in the estimation of quantities uh, of surface runoffs so this is the present scope that is uh, a surface runoff estimation using uh, nrcs karun number model in the sub water head of uh, sornamukhi river and uh, identifying the correlation coefficient between the observed runoff and uh, model runoff so this is the location of the study area that is uh, konokalo watershed which is a sub watershed of uh, swarnamukhi river of uh, 75 square kilometers approximately so this is the konokalo basin map these are the some technical details of a uh, study area um, 75 square kilometers 75.37 square kilometers and uh, uh, 30 kilometers of travel length approximately and the climate is uh, semi arid and the majorly grown crops are paddy and sugarcane so coming to the methodology uh, here uh, inputs um, uh, interpretation and uh, finally getting conclusion uh, with uh, surface runoff grid so here methodology here uh, presently inputs are identified as field data satellite data and topographic map these three are inputs for this uh, surface runoff estimation so here uh, rainfall data is a major input uh, for this estimation here uh, amc also plays a major role in this model what is meant by amc is uh, antecedent moisture condition which is uh, uh, estimated based on the 5 day pre rainfall means uh, today if there is a rainfall what is the moisture content before 5 days of uh, rainfall uh, so that will be estimated and based on that hydrological soil groups are created that we i will let you know later in the later slides so here uh, you can see here if amc is less than 36 uh, or amc is less than 53 then we can have an uh, uh, and is in moisture condition at karun number 2 and uh, if amc less than 36 if no we will go for karun number 3 and uh, if s if it goes through karun number 1 so finally we will have an uh, karun number 2 value uh, by delineation of uh, land use land cover and hydrological soil group map so these weighted karun number 2 will be implicated to the uh, uh, surface run retain surface retention grid which is s yes, denoted as so here uh, the formula is uh, uh, 2500 by cn2 minus 254 so what is that means means uh, if you take an uh, uh, surface retention at a particular point means if you take an uh, road uh, completely which is impervious so it will be given as karun number of 100 so what it shows 254 100 by 100 is 254 minus 254 so its surface retention is totally zero means uh, here uh, there is no uh, infiltration totally it goes for uh, runoff so like that if you view an alluvial soil uh, which has uh, 99% of permeability so it will be around current number with uh, some 10 like that so it will have uh, 
P is the precipitation and essential abstractions divided by P precipitation plus uh, 0.8 times of surface retention. So finally, we will get the runoff of a model. Estimation of uh, surface runoff uh, is uh, like this. Uh, F by S is equal to Q by P, where F by S is uh, actual retention by potential maximum retention and Q by P is uh, actual runoff by potential maximum runoff. So from this we will uh, estimate uh, the Q model which is P minus IA whole square by P minus IA plus S. So like this uh, we will solve the results for the Q uh, uh, upon which the thematic maps which are considered here are uh, rainfall, slope, soil, land use and land cover which uh, majorly affects the surface normal. So integrating all these things uh, we will get a uh, 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 hydrological soil group map uh, which depends on some curve number which uh, we have identified. This is the drainage map. This is the uh, statistics of the streams and dimensions. So distal elevation map uh, which is acquired uh, from Amsterdam. Slope uh, which majorly influences the runoff because uh, greater the slope uh, maximum runoff uh, lesser the slope uh, lesser the runoff. Mm. So these are the four classifications which I have classified 0 to 15 greater than up to 40 which steeper slope and the areas has been classified. So this is the land use land cover map which are categorized into uh, five, uh, six groups uh, agricultural built up area, forest, rest and water body and uh, uh, here uh, maximum part of the uh, portion is covered with forest. Uh, so like this forest spot is 1.22 percent around 50 percent of 62 uh, percent uh, of area uh, this is the soil map which uh, the area has been classified into three soils loamy clay soil red sandy soil and uh, sandy soil with coarse so like this these are also uh, around 50 uh, percent with red sandy soil and the rest of the two here rainfall is the major predominant factor uh, which is delineated in RGA software with this and polygon method which shows uh, 891 mm of uh, rainfall with highest of 1082 mm of rainfall uh, in the watershed. So antecedent moisture content, this is the 5 day antecedent rainfall uh, which is uh, categorized into three seasons, uh, dormant season, growing season and uh, the average uh, one. So average is the curve number two. Dormant season is curve number one. Bro growing season is curve number three. So like this, uh, we will uh, curve number one, curve number two, curve number three are classified. And based on this, we will give the rankings of uh, curve numbers. So according to these uh, antecedent moisture conditions, uh, so curve number two is prepared. This is the hydrological soil groups, group A, group B, group C, group D. So this is a technical source of uh, CS curve number method in 1986. So group A is a low runoff with uh, high infiltration rate and group B is a low runoff with moderate infiltration rate and group C is a very slow infiltration and uh, more uh, high runoff and uh, group D is a very slow infiltration rate and uh, this uh, gives uh, a high runoff. So this is the final hydrological soil group map which is prepared, uh, group A, group B, group C, group D. So according to this, uh, area is being classified. So finally, uh, what are based on the land use land cover and what are the hydrological soil group maps uh, which is integ integrated with, uh, crossed with two maps. According to that, areas were deleted. So this is the current number uh, formula percentage of impervious into 98 plus 1 minus percentage impervious uh, into per number of different hydrological condition and land cover which is assigned by us uh, based on the human perceptions and uh, experts sessions here according to this land use land cover hydrological soil group uh, the per numbers are assigned uh, for that hydrological soil group map mm.
So finally, coming to the results, uh, I have discussed already this uh, phase retention grid is prepared, and uh, based on this is the one result, and uh, uh, based on the Q model uh, which I have explained in the methodology that is the uh, formula, and here uh, point two S is the means 50% of surface retentions, uh, as I uh, as uh, taken as a assumption. A runoff grid is developed and based on these runoff grid developed through RGS uh, that is remote sensing and GS first compared with the Q observed uh, that is a uh, observed practical runoff based on uh, randomly selected 25 values of uh, 2007, 2008, 2009 data. So this is the um, uh, graph showing uh, uh, rainfall runoff uh, from the observed data. Uh, so you can see the rainfall and uh, uh, and observed uh, for the all the 25 values uh, here. So this is the another graph which is showing the runoff and model uh, of the observed and predicted data. So this shows the correlation uh, coefficient for R uh, for uh, 2007, 2008 and 2009 which are all are uh, with an average of 0.78 correlation. So finally, conclusions, uh, if you come to the here, uh, current number uh, gives an uh, approximate estimation of uh, uh, heterological soil group. Uh, so it gives finally, uh, through RGS, uh, a reliable uh, prediction of surface runoff through NRCS current number model. And uh, it is more easy and fast to estimate uh, when compared to the conventional methods. So always these land use and land cover and AMC affects the core number. So in turn influence the surface runoff. So we have to uh, be careful while uh, choosing the curve number uh, for different hydrological soil groups. So this uh, correlation coefficient shows indicates the method is very reliable and uh, predicting of surface runoff in the catchment. So it, uh, my suggestion is uh, this model will be fairly saturated, uh, will very work. Uh, work very well in uh, fairly saturated soil conditions or uh, highly soil moisture conditions. So finally, this water security is very much needed as Mahatma Gandhi said, uh, the world has enough uh, for everyone's need but not anyone's greed. So let us protect uh, water for future generations. Thank you one and all.